Okay, Coach, back here with you, um, part owner, Coach B.J. Lindenberger. Um, background, give us a little bit about your cheer background. Well, I started in high school. I was a, a multi-sport star, loved playing football, loved playing basketball, and, and golf was probably actually my best sport. Um, it was, uh, I no longer was in football season, didn't play basketball anymore, and uh, some of the cheerleaders came up and said, hey, we want guys, we want guys to stunt with us at the basketball games. Like, okay, sure. I'm, I'm athletic, I'll try it, give it a go. It's girls, what? <laughs> So um, there was 12 of us the first day, we went to practice, and uh, the next day there was four of us that, that made it through and, and, and decided to stick it out. So um, I, I was hooked. The first time I ever tried to, to, to stun, I did a tossed hands. I caught one in, the, one in the hand and one in the eye. And um, after that, it, it, for some reason, it just it hit me that this was something I probably wanted to keep doing. And it came to me a little easy, so it wasn't, uh, it wasn't too hard to keep doing that when all the other guys couldn't do it. Yeah, absolutely. Good deal. Now. Um where did you go after high school? Um, actually, after high school, I went to the University of North Carolina at Charlotte, where I was a cheerleader there for two seasons, and, and that was my first real taste of, of, of competitive cheerleading um, at a high level. Uh, it, it threw me right into the, to the mix, right into the fire, and, and I really had to, to excel fast in, in what was, was good for me. Um, I was always a quick learner, a fast learner, and it put me in an environment that I would excel at you know, faster than, than just trying to learn myself. Um, you know, I did give up a, a football and a golf scholarship at a smaller college to, to um, go back and just try this cheerleading thing uh, <laughs> on a bigger level that uh, you know, my dad wasn't very happy about <laughs> until he got to see that, that first competition and, and what it was all about. And then he was, his tune changed just a little bit. That's good. That's good. Now, um, you started your college career there. Mm -hmm. Now, where did you finish it? Uh, I finished my college career at the University of Louisville. Um, it, it was always a dream of mine to go there. It's uh, known as one of the best places in the entire world to be a cheerleader and uh, just a, a cheer athlete altogether. Some of the, the best ever have come through there and it's just uh, a part of the, the cheer history and, and just a, a, something I wanted to be a part of for a long time. And uh, I got that second chance that not a lot of people get and I got to go there and, and really excel and, and do a lot of good things and, and really see what it was like at the highest level and, and to know that I, I fit in there and that you know, I belonged there, and it was just great. It was a great experience. Great. Now, now you also coached up there. I did. I, I was now, lucky I the, enough. And, uh, now, you got the ring. Let me see this. What do we got here? It's a national championship ring for uh, the small co-ed team, University of Louisville, from 2011. Wow. From uh, NCAA College Nationals in Daytona Beach. Um, after my, my cheer career there, luckily I was a little bit more advanced in age, and um, I got the opportunity to coach the small co-ed team after I had uh, cheered on the large co-ed team the, the two years prior. Um, so that was that was how I, I ended my cheer career at Louisville. I, I was the, one of the small co-ed coaches and got to win with a national title down in Daytona Beach, which then led to uh, to other opportunities that that led me where I am now. Oh, that's great. Now, um, like I said, you, you did the transformation from the competitor to the coach. Now you're coach slash business owner. Um, what? It, what do you get more satisfaction out of? Oh, coaching, hands down, hands down coaching. Um, it is one thing to, to push yourself and to achieve your own goals and, and to not take anything away from that. That's an amazing thing. But when you get a group of athletes or a group of kids that you get to, to help mold and, and see their goals get reached and achieve and all the ups and the downs and, and you get to just teach them tons of life lessons that you know are going to help them later in life doing something they love. I mean, it, there's just no comparing. Uh, um, you know, I would I would trade any award or accolade I've got as an individual at any point for another one coaching. It's just uh, I can't get enough. That's great. Good deal. Thank you.